Christian greetings to our viewers at home. I would like to welcome you again to the Great Controversy series. We are on chapter four today. I would like to thank the Lord for his mercies, for his providence, his love, his faithfulness. He never leaves us alone in this yeah. perilous time. Mm. Then I'm quickly drawn to the words of David when he said, what is man that you are so mindful of him? Amen. With me here today is Brother Mutle, Amen. Brother Nube, Amen. Brother Madonsela, Brother Francois. I'm Sister Nube, your host. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Brother Madonsela will pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you'll hear us as we tackle the book, your great controversy. It's the book that is having the spirit of prophecy. And we pray that everyone who is here will understand and the, and the people who are listening will know what we're talking about, about the book. We pray that the Holy Spirit be with us. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Chapter 4 is a build-up of the other chapters that we have already discussed. So we'll look at them uh, a little bit. Chapter 1 was a result of disobedience. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2, it was a persecution which at the end of the day, some of the Christians had to lower their standards, yeah. which then opened way for the devil's weapon mm. of mass destruction, mm. which was deception, yeah. that led many astray. Today we are looking at the group of Waldenses. Yeah. Now, Waldenses is a set of groups that managed to keep its purity Amen. throughout persecution, yeah. throughout oh, yeah. the hardships, yes. and they preserved the word of the God, Amen. pure as, as it was. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's very true. I, I, I like how you're just coming from that angle because it helps us to understand how you're going to venture into the new uh, chapter after you've recapped the previous one. Um, uh, uh, there's, there's a passage that I want just to share with, uh, with the viewers and, and, and every one of us here. Uh, it, it, says, it speaks about the purpose. You remember that in the, in the era of, uh, era of uh, spiritual darkness, mm -hmm. the power which was reigning was actually the papacy. Yes. So chapter 4 builds up from the backdrop of the chapter 3. I mean chapter three. So we are going to continue with the same power mm -hmm. that has been persecuting and is going to increase in its persecution. Mm -hmm. And this, this paragraph, it says, um, Popery, okay, let me go down to that, this one. It says, but the, uh, the, the noon of the papacy was the midnight of the world. Okay. So, and the world in context, they, of course, the world at large, but uh, is the church of God tried to be covered by that darkness, which was actually happening, the spiritual darkness. So when you come down, I mean, I think in the chapter we're now venturing in, the wildness is these ones actually <coughs> understood their mission mm, yes. because the, words of, the word of Christ was actually clear in their mind. Yeah. Why were they existing as a people? So I just want to read for you this, this words from Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world. Yes. A seat that is set on, on a hill mm. cannot be hid. Mm. So they were actually the light of the world in the midst of the darkness back then. And they continue in the midst of the darkness yep. to be the light of the world. Yes. In as much as there was a lot of oppression, killing and butchering of those who stood against the air of the papacy, mm. it was a midnight indeed okay. for anyone and everyone who probably was not going along with the dogmas of the papacy. Yeah. But in that midst of it all, they remember the word of Christ. We are the light of the world and we cannot hide our light. Amen. So it has to shine. Amen. Yeah. Well, I start by saying uh, the privilege that we have in this session is the Waldenses. Mm -hmm. I want to say, hallelujah, I want to be one of them. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now, the setup mm. here in page 61, something interesting. In every age, mm. there were witnesses for God. Men who cherished faith in Christ oh. as the only mediator between God and man. Amen. 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 Yeah. Now, you see the nature of these people. Uh, they, they, they are the remnant, as it were. Mm. They mm. are the people mm. who say, it's me who stand. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter who is not here. Yeah. Look at what Jesus did. He, he took 12 disciples, mm. remnant. So he was banking on John, he was banking on Peter. He's banking on you, he's banking on me. Mm. God can do with a few who are ready. Amen. Mm. Amen. So it's not about a population, about the whole world, about the groups. Yeah. But those who are Waldenses have a mind of saying, mm. if it is for God, I'll stand up for it. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. And also the opening paragraph in page 61 literally attests to that by saying, amid the gloom that settled upon the earth during the long period of papal supremacy, mm. the light of the truth could not be wholly extinguished. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. So the existence of the Holy Spirit yes. alone ensures that the truth stands, yeah. irregardless of the weight of mm. darkness that mm. may suppress the truth. Mm. And that also ties to the concept yeah. of the remnant, yeah. that God will never allow 
light to go in obsolete darkness. Yes. But rather, God always preserves the truth. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. Oh, not just to put the public uh, in this book about the fascinating history okay. that mm. you get from this book and why it's so accurate to us, as you have mentioned yes. now, that is the remnant thing. Yeah. And God has given us many things to understand. I will share with you uh, Matthew chapter 5. Okay. When we read, when God says, about the beauty truths. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now you'll see these, uh, these wildernesses. The, for instance, in verse 3 it says, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. For they are the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Now these people, they, 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 they were so pure yeah. and simple. Yeah. Okay. They learned about the word of God. Nothing, Nothing else, else but the word of, of God. God. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Mm. Let me hasten yes. to, to say, yes, the Waldenses did not stand as a group. Okay. Mm -hmm. They were standing as, as individuals Amen. that right. were bound together by the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So basically their faith was not based on the next brother. Mm -hmm. no. yeah. It was based solely on Christ oh, yeah. and the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. was the band that tied them mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's why they couldn't be pitched out. Oh, yeah. It, it's very important. Imagine if you're standing on somebody's, uh, somebody yes. else's faith yes. mm -hmm. and the person is discouraged and yeah. give up his faith. What will happen to you? Yeah, yours? So mm -hmm. the flickering yeah. light of the good emotions I when, when you're depending upon somebody else does not work in Christianity. Okay. Mm -hmm. We stand as individuals, but as we come collectively, we also stand as a body of Christ. Yeah. Now, this faith of the old ancients was not supposed to be kept only to parents. Yeah. Mm. You know, there always been this misconception that religion is for the parents and mm. you have no time for the children. Mm. Yeah. But we are told in the same chapter yeah. that the children of the old ancients were yeah. taught. Hallelujah. And they were all missionaries for God. Yeah, Whenever sure. they could go, what they could say, it's just all about, I mean, if they go to school, as you read from the book itself, yeah. it says they were intentionally attending some of the universities yes. of, the, of the days mm -hmm. just simply because they wanted to infiltrate and connect with the other people to share the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, this brings for me, you know, to my mind what God spoke to the children of Israel mm -hmm. back then. Uh, it says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter, 20, uh, chapter 6, verse 6 until to verse, verse 10, they just, I'll read quickly there. It says, yes. and these words which I command thee this day mm -hmm. shall be in thy heart. Yeah. And then it goes on to say, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them, uh, shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, mm. and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. So you can see, parents were commissioned mm. that as you know the truth, mm. yes, because we don't know what to be your next step. I mean, we are living during the pandemic time. Yeah. Parents are dying, and you know, most, mm. more, more, especially the, uh, the uh, adults. Yeah. Imagine if, if, if we all die at once, God forbid, Family. And we have no any generation that are actually being trained and prepared. Mm -hmm. what, to, what will happen to the cause of Christ? Mm. Because children pick up from their parents and carry on with what the parents have left. So the old dangers, they understood that principle of passing on the button. Mm -hmm. You know, so that those who come after them, they will know how to carry the gospel of Christ. So this, this chapter is very powerful to me. Okay. And looking at where we are living right mm -hmm. now and the rise mm -hmm. of the men of sin, the yeah. papacy arising mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and try to occupy the throne of the world. I mean, it, we just have to learn from this chapter. Mm -hmm. And it will mean a lot to us as a people. I enjoy something that uh, someone said. Mm -hmm. You cannot die for what you can't live for. Oh, yes. yes. So the purpose of living is to exemplify mm -hmm. that which you believe. Oh, yes. yes. Now, you see in this chapter, what happened is you saw persecution in the uh, era of uh, darkness that was there. Mm. These um, uh, Waldenses had a situation in which they were branded mm. ne? as yeah. what? As heretics. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Number two, their motives were impugned. That was disputed, that, in other words. Mm. Whatever motive they had, it was disputed. Mm. Number three, their characters were maligned, that means spitefully, critically manner. So it was whatever they did, there was an opposition. Mm. Mm. But guess what? Mm. Despite all these fluctuations, mm. what did they do? Yeah. Stood up. So that which you believe in yeah. must be the springboard in oh, which yes. you stand upon. Yes. Mm. And the Waldenses went for it, and I like what you said. Yeah. But that even their children were part of it. Oh mm. yeah. Mm. So it is me and my family. Oh yes. Mm. We shall worship. The Lord. Jehovah. Yeah. Mm. So do it there. Send a home. Mm. It's the church. Mm. And the Waldens spirit cannot die oh, yeah. as long as we stand up. Mm. Yeah. 
And another thing also that I think we need to take into cognizance is that the heightened persecution yes. of the time of the Waldensians was really based on the PayPal's policies okay. of oh, yeah. trying okay. to obliterate yes. anything that stands against their doctrine mm -hmm. and exactly. their practice. Mm -hmm. So for them, they were trying to clean up the mess, yeah, sure. to crush the heretics. Okay. Because remember, when you, are, when you are declared a heretic, it means you are a dissenter mm. yeah. from their system of faith. Mm. So theirs was to try and keep their system in check okay. and to also try and maintain their system un unchallenged. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I see that yeah. The root cause of the persecution was the fact that they turned okay. against the principle yes. and the authority of the church mm -hmm. by going back to the Bible yeah. and proclaiming the Bible as the only rule of faith and Amen. practice. Mm. Amen. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. Yes, the book teaches us about humility. Okay. Mm. These Waldensians, they are so humble. Oh, Amen. Yeah. And I will just read for you. It says here, the faith which for centuries was held and taught by the Waldensian Christians mm. was in marked contrast to the false doctrines okay. put forth from Rome. Oh, yes. It yes. says, their religious belief was founded upon the written word of Amen. God. Mm. Amen. Mm. The true system mm. of Christianity. Amen. Mm. That's, that's where we, 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 we survive. Yes. In this, uh, all the, the challenges that we face. Yes. When we read the word of God, the book teaches us why these Wardations, mm -hmm. they were so humble, yeah. Yeah. they were so simple. Mm -hmm. They know what was going on. Mm -hmm. And the Bible, nothing else but the Bible. Bible. Mm -hmm. that's, that, that's where they were living about. I like that because there's okay. no way that somebody can become a Christian and not be humble. It's impossible. Right. Mm -hmm. Christianity, what it does, it, it brings you from your high tower to your feet, yes. yeah. because that's the purpose yeah. of Christianity. Yeah. So if anyone claims to be a Christian and yet is not humble, then mm -hmm. we have to question that, because mm. it's, it's actually it's in contrast mm. to what Christ was. Christ was very humble, was meek. So those who come after Christ, because Christ, what he does in the life of each one of us when we accept him, he reproduces himself in Amen. us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. So yeah. if you are revealing a, another spirit which is not in, you know, in harmony with the spirit of Christ, yeah. and that spirit you can see among the midst of this persecution was, was going on at the Ordentians, mm -hmm. there were only two spirits which were actually contending there. Yes. There was the spirit of Christ mm -hmm. in the Ordentians. Yes. My brother said they were very humble. Mm -hmm. And there was the spirit of the devil yes. in the ch established church of the day, okay. claiming to be the church of Christ, which mm -hmm. was the papacy, the Roman Catholic Church, mm -hmm. which was actually ruling then. So you can see the, the marked contrast between yeah. the two spirits actually being manifested. So a Christian is called to manifest the humbleness of Christ in, mm -hmm. their, in their lives. Mm -hmm. So basically, the humbleness yeah. of the Waltons is was the mind of Christ. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 The very same mind of Christ we are challenged yes. with. Yeah. Let the mind of that was in Christ yeah. Jesus be in you. Yes. Okay, yes. let's draw back to the to what uh, Brother Francis said. Mm -hmm. The writer says the Waltons has passed the faith on to their children yes. as Aish. inheritance. Amen. Aish. So basically what they lived for, the faith, the word of God, was the epicenter of their yes. life. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. all that they lived yeah. for. Yeah. Yes. That was mm. their inheritance then. Mm. I was quickly drawn to the events of Babylon. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego. Abed oh, yeah. Those were the then youth. Yes. Yeah. Chances are the parents had been killed, you know. <laughs> yeah. mm. They were not available. Yeah. Mm. What mm. their parents had taught them then. Yeah. managed to give them strength to stand on their own uh, yeah. because Amen. they knew God. Yeah. So when we equip our children, mm. we are making sure that mm. the future church yes. is safe. Yeah. We are passing on the button yes. so that even when we are absent, mm. our children are able to choose truth mm. from error. Yeah. And also I think when we add ten, uh, tension to yes. the narrative and say, okay. suppose persecution comes mm. and you haven't trained your children about the factors of the truth. Oh, yeah. You haven't trained your children to stand for the truth. What happens when persecution comes and your children are not ready and you are threatened with the death of your children? Mm. I think compromise comes at that exactly. point. Oh, yeah. But exactly. quite to the contrary, if your children are trained to stand for the truth, oh, mm, yes. even though the heavens may fall, mm. they will understand that the persecution is a part that they must act out for their that's allegiance right. yeah. to the Lord. Right. And I think that's, that's comforting, because imagine when the time of trouble comes, I'm persecuted and my children are persecuted, yeah. and each one is going down for their Lord. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You, you realize something of interest, Sister Nube, uh, page 66. This book is powerful. Mm. In their fidelity mm. to his law, mm. the Lord mm. mm. God's servants should be as firm as unchanging as the hills. Oh, mm. yes. 
So this firmness, mm. this unchangeability, lies in in what you believe. Oh yes. You know? Because what you believe, that's who you are. That's oh, your yes. life. Yes. Mm. So they were firm, they were strong, and for the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Thank you very much. We shall take a short break. Viewers, stay where you are. We'll be trading with you shortly. The Lord bless you. Amen. Welcome back, our viewers. We are continuing with our subject on the world dances. Yes, yes, my sister, that's very, very true. Um, I just want to touch on the area of the Waldensians being driven away from their homes. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, we, we are living in such a world where people think Christianity is all about having the latest car, the latest house, this and that. Yeah. Not knowing that there's a bitter part, you mm -hmm. know, to the sweet. Mm. Being a Christian is sweet because you know that you are guaranteed for eternity yeah. first because you are nicked, you know, connected to Christ. Yeah. But there's, there's actually a bitter part that comes along with, and that mm. is persecution, mm. loss of property. Your life itself mm. must be put, now, you know, must be put at stake. Mm. So the Waldensians were no different from the rest. Okay. It has been like this from Abel. Mm. He was killed yeah. just because mm. he wanted to lift up the mm. truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Christ himself, he came into the world. He was also persecuted. And Christ says, everyone that I live godly in the present age yeah. will suffer persecution. Mm -hmm. Now, when you start about this, this, uh, this chapter, we are, we are actually being exposed to the reality of these individuals mm -hmm. being driven out of their homes mm -hmm. and they find their place of refuge or habitation under the rocks and under the mountains. And wherever they went, mm -hmm. uh, I love this, mm -hmm. wherever they went, the spirit, the missionary spirit was actually with them. Uh, mm. And I'll show you the principle why they were supposed to continue to be missionaries. Okay. Mm. You know, I just want to read this, uh, just a, uh, you know, a paragraph, the very small sentence. It says, the spirit, uh, the, the spirit of Christ is a missionary spirit. Amen. So it, it, when you are in Christ, yeah. and you are a, you're actually a child of Christ. It doesn't but matter where you are. They were in the mountains. Mm. They have to make sure that they carry the gospel of mm. Christ still. Why? Because... Mm. If you have ceased from testifying or bringing witness of Christ, mm. that's, that means that you have died. Yeah. And yeah. Acts of Apostles, I think page 205, it says that it is a universal principle mm. that whenever one refuses to use his God-given powers, mm -hmm. these powers decay and perish. Truth that is not lived, mm -hmm. that is not imparted, mm. loses its life-giving power, its healing virtues. So... When, 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 whenever we are, it, whether we are in the cities, we are in the mountains, okay. in the countryside, okay. it's always burned within those who've got Christ in them to be Amen. able to tell others. Amen. So yeah. they were Dacians in the mountains, wherever they were, they would leave the mountain and come to look for people wherever they are and share the truth of the gospel of Christ. The yeah. spirit, I mean, the missionary spirit is so powerful that it won't let you to sit there. And we are we are actually talking about country living now yeah. Yeah. because we are going to repeat the history of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the oh, world yeah. Now, what will be our approach when we get to the countryside? Are you going to go to a country where you are actually 150 kilometers away from the people? Mm. How are you going to prepare? Because you have to continue to labor. So we have to learn from these guys in the mountain where they were, they were finding their way down to where people were so they can share the truth of the gospel. And while you're still on the issue of the Waldenses and the missionary spirit among yes. them, another muscle of the Roman papacy, mm -hmm. the papal system, mm -hmm. yeah. was the fact that the Bible wasn't easily accessible to the yes. community. Oh, yes. I mean, at this time of history... I don't think they had the codex, the mm. codex. Oh, yes. Mm. So it means they, and, and they didn't have a printing machine. So sure. it means they depended mostly on, on writing, on writing. Mm -hmm. and Bibles were expensive. Yeah. But the world in seas, we are told that they were the first people yeah. in history oh, yeah. to, have, to produce the Bible in yeah, their own language, language. Oh, yeah. and not, not only in Latin. Oh, and that's yeah. where you could see that in the wave of their spiritual strength yeah. and their unyielding spirituality, that the central was the Bible. And they were able to bring the Bible to the level of the people using the native language of the people. Yes. Uh, then I enjoy now uh, John 3, verse 14 and 15. Hmm. As Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness, even so hmm. must yeah. the Son of Man be lifted up. Oh, yes. Yeah. You see, the family life issue connects very well here. Mm. Uh, uh, we spoke about the, the children. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. children easily record mm. your lifestyle as a family. Yeah. Mm. So it's not about talking to them. It's about doing. Mm. 
And so these children, even if they went to varsity, they mm. went everywhere. Mm. They picked up the family issues. Mm -hmm. So mm. critical issues. Mm. Waldenses lived a full complement of life. Oh, mm. yes. Not this part-time religion. Yeah. <laughs> one time you are in the church, one time you are there, one time you are the father, yeah. one time you are the boyfriend. No ways. Mm. They really lived a life that is straight. They knew very yeah, well. Exactly. No ways. Our father yeah. is a serious man of God. Oh, yes. Amen. Our mother is a serious woman of God. Amen. Just Amen. like Lord. Yeah. And Noah, you remember Noah? Yeah. Yeah. Noah stood up yeah. and his family, the mm. wife was first. Mm. You say, mm -mm, mm -mm. if my husband talks this way, he's telling the truth. Oh, yes. mm. Into the ark. Oh, yes. mm. So that which we live as mm. truthfully so mm. will come out. But if we live double standards, there's no way, there's no way our children will go with us. That's mm. true. So we need to live a life of wild dances. So mm. I say, I, I vote for them. I want to be wild. <laughs> Continue that. <laughs> the wild nations, the parents taught the children. Yes to be industrious Amen. Mm. for any condition that will come, they will be able to survive. Yes. And this is what happened, because as they were fleeing, they had to go to the mountains. Mm. And they would search for a, a land that is tillable, yeah. mm. a land that they will be able to plow mm -hmm. and leave. Yeah. So it, it was a very, it, in, in, in fact, it says here, economy mm. and severe self-denial formed a part of okay. the education Amen. Mm. which the children received mm. as their only legacy. Yes. Mm. As we have said, we need to teach the children how to survive yes. any situation. Yes. Mm. Teaching them because education and economy they go hand in hand. Mm. And they have to learn how to do anything with their hands and to live with the word of God. So this was a, a, a legacy that the children oh. of the world nations were given. Mm. Yeah. But go with this you survive everywhere. Yeah. You survive any situation. Like my brother said, the Bible says, anyone who wants to live a godly life mm. shall suffer a persecution. Mm. So as Christians, we're yeah. waiting for anything because the book teaches us a lot of things how to stand. Yeah. Now, the book, as, it, as, as we talk about the, the Waldations, yes. it teaches us that these Waldations, yeah. like you said, yes. they could be us. Yeah. Hey. Mm. It, it, thank, thank you so much, my brother, for that, those powerful points that I'm making there. Look, we are, we are told that as we are approaching toward the end of the world, um, the issue that is going to bring everyone to their knees is the issue of buying and selling. Okay. Mm. I mean, we mm. saw from, you know, from the lockdown, lockdown. here, mm. <laughs> no one was, I mean, there was nothing that was important than food yeah. and water yeah. and a shelter. That's shelter. three things. So we are told that as we are approaching toward the end of the world, buying and selling will be very stringent. Yeah. Laws mm -hmm. are going to be put in place. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. learning from the old ancients, we are picking up a lesson of trying to get a land where we can grow our own produce mm -hmm. so we can be disconnected from the system for, that's for survival. We know that there will be a, a, you know, a small time of trouble. There yeah. will be a great time of trouble. Mm -hmm. God can only provide for his own during the, time, the small time of trouble. Yeah. That's where we have to, to depend upon our own tilling of the land, the planting, and so on and so forth. So this is a very living testimony of a lesson that one can learn and be able to apply this and be able to see how they can fit in the last days. Yeah. Because if we can take this and apply it to our personal life, we are going to end up, by God's grace, of course, God will actually, is going to actually place us where we can be strategic mm. in our mission mm. and be able also to disconnect from the Monet monetary system of this world because money is going to be yeah, an, an issue. issue. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me draw, draw you back to something that we have discussed. Maybe okay. because I, I'm a mother oh, yes. and, <laughs> and this subject is very important yeah. to yes. me. Mm -hmm. Now, while the wild dances were in the mountains, yes. the writer records that they did not hey. allow the spirits of mm. their children to mm. be filled with sickness and gloom oh, yes. because yeah. they had been oh, yes. closed out from their usual mm. uh, social so circles. Yeah. So mm. they taught them about the nature around them. Yes. Mm. She says they taught them mm. about how strong the arm of God is. Oh, yeah. That was Amen. able to set forth mountains yes. yeah. and they cannot be moved. Oh, yeah. so, and only the arm of God could be able to move those mountains oh, yes. and throw them in the sea. Yeah. What legacy they were giving to their yes. children? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were talking about the recording of the Bible. Yes. Yes. The writer says, because it was so difficult to write then, they memorized yeah. the Bible. Yeah. Section by section. Oh, yes. Basically, these young people carried the Bible mm. with them wherever sure. they went. Yeah. Now, the yeah. last object lesson, yeah. if yes. I give you guys a <laughs> yes. chance to talk. Yes. The writer says, 
Mm. Amongst these youth, oh, yeah. there were those who wanted to be pastors, yes. to mm. go out for service, to yeah. teach. Mm. Mm. Now, a young man would not be ordained for service oh, yes. mm. unless he has gone into the field <laughs> mm. and wow. brought the soul. Oh, yeah. wow. Now, the young yes. man was assigned an old man mm. yeah. who would wow. mentor him on his journey. Oh, yes. And the old man would bring a report mm. yeah. that mm. now mm. the young man is ready, is ready for service. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Which I think is a challenge to all of us. I, I what think, are we teaching our yeah, children? I, I think, you know, the reason why Christianity is in shambles today, yeah. mm. you know, we, we don't see people wanting to choose to go to the villages to go and minister. Okay. Everyone will go to the United States, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. I want to be a pastor because I want to be on TV. Yeah. That is, mm. So a pastor must be on the faces of everyone. Yeah. But that's not true because mm. the way in which that Christ wants us to work in as far as his service is concerned, we need to be everywhere. Yes. So as, as we are trained and we have been in the field, our heart is, is going to be with the people. Yeah. Not so much of wanting to be seen and be known and be heard, but to go and look for souls for whom that Christ died for. So the old ancients, they knew that if we can train a child yes. to how to go to remote areas and go and preach the gospel, then we are safe because if we are five of us, five villages before us, then we can send five ministers. Yeah. And none of them will want to be in the poop in the churches. Okay. So the work is outside. Yes. So mm. train them for outside work, and that was their mission as well. Mm. So we are here where we are right now, and the gospel is not going anywhere much, but just in the series, even in the series themselves, we want to be in the most popular, in a mega church. Mm. And we are hiding under everyone else. <laughs> we don't even light up our, I mean, our light is not even shining okay. because there's light in this place. I mean, if you've got some gigantic light like this, do you need a torch? No. You don't need. Yeah. Your torch will be just useful when you go into this darkness. And where there's darkness, that's where people are still, they've not been exposed to the gospel. So training a minister and telling them exactly to count the cost of why they're getting into ministry, and secondly, to be willing to pay the price, that will give them success in the work of Christ. There's something I, I caught up there. Uh, look, I, I, I said I love these Waltenses. Mm. Uh, she has talked about... You love uh, them. I, I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer to be part of them. Now, look at this. Yeah. The social support they had mm. as a family, as it were. Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, I read something about their pastors. Mm. Nee. Those young people were trained and they come later. There are four things that I saw and which I think our pastors need mm. for this church to survive. Number one, they preach the gospel. Mm. Mm. Pastors must preach. Mm. Number two, they visited the, the sick. Oh, yeah. Door to door. I can tell you now, a number of the pastoral do not know where their members stay. That's right. Mm. They meet them in church mm. with those bright faces in church. Mm. But where the member stays, member is sick. Someone was saying one day, they announced someone passed away. And then the pastor was asking, is he a member of the church? <laughs> That's the pastor asking. Mm. The member is dead. Mm. So the pastor does not know. And that's a problem. Because the social support we need as well dances are mm. not there. Oh, Even yes. our faith will not grow. Because no one is supporting. You are alone. Mm. Number three, they admonished the airing. If you air, they, they would come and give Rebuke. support. Mm. No, bro, we do it this way. Yes. We do it this way. Yeah. They don't write to the church board to censure. They admonish them. They help. Last point, they labor to settle disputes among the brethren. Mm. Mm. Churches are falling apart. Mm. There's real division. Mm. Sometimes through racial lines. Mm. Because mm. There, there's no one really uh, bringing in this part here. Mm. And so the church is infighting with itself. Mm. Yeah. How will it go? It can't. Mm. So the world then spirit is needed. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it our pastors, needed. whether our children, whether ourselves, let's go together and oh, do yes. this thing. Oh, mm. Yes. Mm. Another attack that the Waldensians faced, can I just read for you? It says here, among the leading causes that had led to the separation of the true church, it yes. was called mm. a true church mm. Amen. Mm. from Rome, yes. was the hatred of the latter toward the Bible Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's sure. where the attack came Was. as well. Yes. Mm. Yeah. The Bible Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, as we know, as we speak, as we are here, we know that time is coming. Yes. Mm. This attack will come as Again. well to the Waldations <laughs> mm-hmm. as us yeah. now. <laughs> that the yay, you people, what's going on with the Sabbath? Yeah. Mm. So it, it was not something that it's new, yeah. as we read the word in Daniel chapter uh, 7, yes. it yeah. says, he will speak 
against the Most High mm -hmm. and oppress His mm -hmm. holy people mm -hmm. and try to change the set times yes. huh. and the laws. The holy people will be delivered into his hands for a time and times and okay. half a time. Okay. Yep. Now, yep. he will what? He will try to change. Mm -hmm. Now, this Sabbath, what is this Sabbath all about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it will teach us to know that everything, they were attacked on everything. Yes. And they have to stand through the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And also, I think that kind of reminds me of Revelation chapter 6. Yes. When we look at the seals. And just to give a background of the seal, it's Christ in heaven in chapter 5. Mm. He is unsealing the, the, he is unsealing the book mm. that was sealed by God. And each seal represented the events that would happen in the successive ages of the Christian Amen. period. Mm. And the sixth seal is the period before the end of the world. Okay. And when we read the sixth seal, it, it says, no, seal number 5. Yeah. It says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, mm. I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, yeah. O Lord, holy and true, okay. dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Oh, yeah. And white robes, mm. white robes, yeah. <laughs> and white robes were given unto every one of them. Yes. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little wow. season. Mm -hmm. These Christians who are martyrs, yeah. mm. the response to their cries, they must wait for a little season. Yes. Mm. And it says, and the, their robes were given to them, that every one of them, it was said unto them that they should rest for a little while season until they follow servants, Amen. also their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Amen. Now this is telling us that a second wave of persecution yeah. will come in the last Amen. days. Mm. Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank you very Amen. much, my brothers. We'll take a short break now. We'll be right back with you. Amen. Welcome back. Uh, let me start by saying let us take into consideration mm -hmm. that the Waldenses did not take their untitled ambassador job lightly. Okay. Yeah. We have other Christians in the Bible that were like Daniel, Esther, those are titled ambas ambassadors. Mm. They are operating from the highest platforms on, on land. But Waldenses, mm. because of their simplicity mm -hmm. and their ability to understand how much error Hmm. had gone into the Christian world, chose hmm. to yeah. be untitled ambassadors. Amen. Amen. Let's get practical to it. Okay. Yeah. They chose to be merchants yeah. Yeah. and peddlers. We were carrying silk and jewelry. Mm. That mm. was rare then, which then justified mm. their cause mm. of going into people's houses. Yeah. Mm. Because it would take them justified. long journeys wow. to go and look for these things. And yeah. then they are saying, we are bringing them to your doorstep. Mm. As they went into these people's houses, they Wait. did not start by selling. Yeah. Mm. They started by selling their goods. Amen. Mm. Taking advantage mm. of the part that Hezekiah uh, failed to yeah. do when the yeah. Babylonians came. Yes. Yeah. He showed them riches yeah. and other things. Oh, the yeah. world is started yeah. By showed their God. The God. Yeah. They showed them their God Amen. and then started selling. Amen. And then by so doing, these untitled ambassadors did a lot of good mm. in bringing back the children of God to mm. himself. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. It, it's very nice. I, I, I like what you're saying. I really mm. support and I enjoy what you're saying. Mm. But I wanted my brother to go back. There's a verse that he read. Yeah. Well, I just mm. want to connect that uh, to, and bring it to where we are close because now we need to finish the show. Yes. You know? <laughs> so when I bring the uh, present truth application to all that we are talking about, yes, these sir. individuals. So my brother, go back to Revelation chapter 6 where you were. Yes, sir. There's a verse that speaks about the two persecutions there. All right. So maybe I should begin it again. Yes. Please. And when he opened the fifth seal, mm -hmm. And this period is the period just prior to the end of the world. It okay. covers that yeah. because oh, yes. then the sixth seal talks about the coming of Christ. Mm -hmm. And when we look at verse 9, it says, And when he had opened the fifth seal, mm -hmm. I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God Amen. and for the testimony which they held. Yes. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Mm. That means earth dwellers are presented in a negative light. Yes. Oh, yes. They are the agent of persecution in the mm. text. Correct. And verse 11 says, and white robes, mm -hmm. this is in response Amen. to their cry, yes. the martyr's prayer. Okay. Oh, white yes. robes are presented yes. to them. And it yeah. says, and white robes were given to, uh, unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet 
for a little season, Amen. until their fellow servants also, mm. and their brethren that should be killed as they were, mm -hmm. should, be, should be fulfilled. So we are seeing two waves yeah. of persecution. Okay. Mm. But I loved the response. Yeah. Mm. Because the response starts by telling us that white robes were given to oh, us. Yes. And white robes are a symbol of the purity Amen. of character. Amen. And also in the book of Revelation, white robes are a symbol of mm. victory. Mm. Oh, yes. That is why in the next chapter, yes. the saints are seen in white robes yeah. with palms in front of the throne of Amen. God. Amen. So they were given white robes, meaning that what, where they had died, their works would follow them. Amen. They died victorious in Christ under the wave of persecution. Yes. But before we can have the first wave, we must, the second wave, we yeah. must have the first Amen. one. Oh, that's very Amen. correct. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. You know, the, the, the two parts that are spoken, the, mostly the first one, is connected, intimately connected to the time of the Dark Ages. Yes, yes sir. Because we're actually in the fifth seal and it's open. The fourth seal that comes slightly, that's the Dark Ages issue. Yeah. And we know the, the power that was actually ruling during the Dark Ages <laughs> was actually the Roman Catholic Church. Let me okay. use the word, the papacy, because the papacy simply means church and state state coming together okay. yes, with the church dominating the state yeah. and ruling and try to uh, to enforce his i mean her dogmas yep. so the souls that are crying there mostly whenever you look at them closely is not everyone is those who have died during that period. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, the Bible says that they will have to wait because they're looking at God. Imagine you are serving God mm. and eventually you are being butchered. I mean, hey. where's the justice mm. anyway? Hey. I was expecting God to protect me, to preserve me, but hey. here I am down. Yeah. So yeah. in a very uh, nice way, they're now asking God, how long shall you going yeah. to wait? God said, no, just wait. Yeah. Then he says that after you, there will be another one against you. He's going to come. Yeah. The persecution is going to come. Yeah. And until when the number of your brethren are complete, yeah. then I, the Lord, are going to uh, you know, stand up and avenge of your blood. Amen. Now, the same power that we are talking about, that actually existed during the Dark Ages, which is the papacy, uh, we're not talking about the Catholics, mm -hmm. members within the church, we're talking about the system itself, yes. mm -hmm. so that people may not be, you know, misunderstand us. No. We are not actually saying that every Catholic is wrong. No. no. There are good people of God Amen. in every church, Amen. including Amen. the Catholic Church, Amen. but the system in which they are kept yep. are not God-ordained system. Yes, These are system attending against even God himself and be able to butcher yep. his people. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says they will have to wait until the second martyrdom yeah. ah. takes place. Yes. Yes, sir. Now in order for the second yeah. martyrdom to take place, yeah. the same power that I once ruled, and okay. it's actually ruled for 1,260 yeah. years yeah. Oh, from 538 mm -hmm. until to 1798, and mm -hmm. it lost its word dominion. Yeah. It's going to be resurrected again. I just want to take you quickly to the book of Revelation chapter 13 okay. yes, sir. just to give you a glimpse on what is going to happen to it when it's come to the resurrection of the papacy. We don't have time to go into the details okay. of it. I know they'll come take now, us by sir. faith. Yeah. Now, yeah. So, yeah. Revelation chapter 13, verse uh, 3 to 4, the Bible says, And I saw one of his heads yes. as it were wounded to death, ah. and his deadly wound was healed. Yeah. And all the world wandered after the beast. Verse 4. And they worshipped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. Yeah. And they worshipped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast? Yeah. Who is able to make war mm. with him? Okay. So you can see already there is now talking. And when it's come to verse 8, I like verse 8. Yeah. It's it actually put it just in umbrella terms. And mm. it says, and all that are dwell upon the earth, in case if somebody would think that they're going to be strong enough yeah. Yeah. to stand against the papacy, when the papacy is going to regain his supremacy. The yeah. Bible says, all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, Yep. Whose names, I mean, whose names are not found, I mean, not written in the book of life okay. of the Lamb slain from the beginning uh, of the foundation of the world. So that's what you get there. But I want to give you an article which I came across from the internet, speaking mm -hmm. about the, the, the ascension, uh, ascension of the, the papacy. Just to give a glimpse to show you that this power is now regaining its momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. it, it, it says there, uh, this one came, I think it should be BBC. It says, Pope Francis' popularity among Americans goes from high to hire. Mm. So even the world is seeing what is happening, the regain of the power. And in this part, it says, Pope Francis is even more popular among United States Catholics than he is among the, uh, the public as a whole. Wrote uh, Pew and so on, this is the writer. So you can see that we are just almost there. Yeah. The papacy, the Roman Catholic Church, prophetically speaking, is going to regain the dominion in the yes. world. Yeah. And it's all the kings of the earth are going to come under her umbrella. Yes. And they are going to do her bidding just as they did during the time of the old nations back then. So that history is going to be written by us. We're going to fulfill it as we're approaching toward the end of the world. Amen. Mm. I Amen. like Hebrews for that case. Oh, yeah. Hebrews 11. Oh, yeah. 
without faith it is impossible, impossible to please, please God. God. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know the problem we are facing here, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's purpose, whether it's the beast, whether it's Come now, sir. our business here yes, sir. is faith and pleasing God. God. Amen. So sometimes Amen. we're busy trying to please people. We will yeah. not. Yeah. Our business here oh, yes. is pleasing God. Oh, Look at the combination that is strong. Mm. Uh, in page 76, uh, viewers, this book is powerful. Ah. Go there, go there. Yeah. Page 76. The wild dances were invading the kingdom of Satan. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So as they did what they did, mm. what were they doing? Invading the devil's territory. Mm. And then it says here, the powers of darkness were aroused mm. to greater vigilance. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. So as long as we are standing for the right, mm. yeah. we are not going to expect that the devil will sit down and say, hallelujah, yeah. go on, yeah. Yeah. We're going to be under attack. Mm. But we already know our business, oh, which yes. shall end. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. This world is not going to end because someone is going to do things. Mm -hmm. It's going to end by Christ coming. Amen. Amen. So it doesn't Amen. matter who does Amen. what, whether you're going to be slaughtered or butchered, but here is the case. Mm. At the end of the journey, the white robe, my brother. Ah, white, white robe. robe oh, yeah. Victory is coming. <laughs> yes, sir. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. As long as we have linked in, yeah. we are connected. Yeah. With no yeah. power sometime here, yeah, we struggled. Yeah. But as long as we are connected to Christ, mm. yes, sir. the more better we become. Oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. The characters of the Waldenses were a constant rebuke to the sinner. Oh, yes. Yes. When they looked at them, <laughs> They saw the reflection of ah, sin. Yeah. <laughs> and that made them grow so much hatred mm. towards them. Mm. Hence persecution. Yeah. Life object mm. lesson. Oh, yes. When the world looks looks at us today, yes, yes, are we a rebuke to the world? Yes. So we have aligned ourselves to ah, the world compromise. so much so mm. that the world will teach us mm. a thing or two <laughs> when it ah. comes to Christianity. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like how you just put it there. Okay. Oh, right, right. I like how you put it. You know, there's a story in the book of Acts chapter 19 of yes. the sun of Skiva. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sons of Skiva, they, they wanted to go and fight for God. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, with, with hands which are actually dirty with yeah, sin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the devil says, Paul, we know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are you guys? Jesus, Jesus we know. know. But who, who are, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone will come and try to enter into the holy war of yeah. God, mm -hmm. yeah. spiritual warfare, mm -hmm. and yet your hands is, de is actually I dented did. by the power of the devil, yeah. Yeah. the devil is going to overthrow you. Mm -hmm. These individuals stood up in the miss of persecution and be able to vindicate mm. the name of God simply yeah. because they were fully and completely connected to God. Yeah. So if we are also to stand firm, mm. we'll have to find ourselves fully and completely Amen. in God. Amen. Because if you are half the world and half the Lord, oh. mm. you're actually 100% for the devil. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. simple. Yeah. Mm. The, reason, the reason why we have the world in this yes. book, the yes. great controversy, Amen. you can reflect a number of things that we find about them okay. and in the Bible. Because you find in Acts chapter 5, I am reading verse 29. Yes. Peter and the other apostles replied. They were saying, we must obey God rather than human beings. Yes. Yeah. So they had to say with that, yeah. that, what's going on with these people? Oh, yes. We can't obey these people. Mm. We want to obey only God. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the book tells us about the Bible history, as we have said. Yeah. It gives us the history. It gives us the prophecy on its own, yes. why we must read the book. Mm. Because God is pleased when, when we, the communication mm. of this truth, mm. the communication of this truth to, to the world, oh, yes. mm. about the, 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 the world nations, yeah. Yeah. To, you know, to the, to the human <laughs> agencies that are coming to understand God himself and the Holy Spirit, oh, yes. qualified man, yes. and enable them to do this work. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. So God is working even now. Amen. Mm. To all those people who say, I rather obey God rather than, rather man. than man. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. So basically we are looking looking at a group of people that says, Thus saith the, the Lord. Lord. As if that was not enough. Oh, a yes. group of people who were met with temptation hey. as Jesus was hey. tempted by mm. the devil mm. are able to say it is written. written. Yes. For truly Amen. they have read. Oh, yes. We should reach a time where when we are approached by temptation, mm. we are able to say it is written. It is written, Amen. yeah. Amen. Just but to share with you this verse yes, in First Corinthians chapter 14. Mm. As we are, we are taking the book, the book is a prophetic book, yes. isn't it? Yes, sir. It's a book with vision. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm. Now to understand prophecy, it says in, in verse 9, chapter 14, 1 Corinthians, mm. for we know in part, yeah. mm. and we prophesy in part. Yes. Mm. 
But when completeness comes, mm. Mm. what is in part Amen. disappears. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. So Amen. prophecy is where we are in the book, The Great Controversy. Amen. Amen. My attention is drawn, my brother, to Acts 4, verse 12. Yes, sir. There is no other name. Huh. No other. Don't worry about being an Adventist, being a Catholic. No other name. Yeah. Under heaven. <laughs> that we shall be saved on. Oh, Except yeah. the name of? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. So the principle here is it doesn't matter who you are, what you are doing, mm. do we have a link with Christ? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So no other name will save us here. So the most said words will be, come unto me, all, all you that labor mm. and are heavy laden. Oh, I'll yes. give you rest. <laughs> mm. So Christ is ready to give us. Mm. So we need just to come to him. Amen. Mm. Amen. Yeah, just to correct something here. Yes. The book, The Great Controversy, mm -hmm. is not for the Adventists. Yes, thank you. It was not written for the Adventists. Yes. It was written for the world. Amen. To know the truth. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Well done. Gentlemen, your closing remarks. Okay. My closing remarks I found, I find in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And it says, and they overcame him by the Amen. blood of the Lamb, Amen. and by the word of their testimony, mm. and they loved not their lives oh, yeah. unto death. Amen. <laughs> In every age, God has had a people mm. to stand and represent him. Mm. And these are called the remnant. Oh, yes. I want to be one. You can be one. <laughs> the Waldenses did their part, yeah. even though we know what would come after them. Mm. But they saw the <laughs> destiny from the beginning. Oh. That's, that's beautiful. Psalm chapter 22, verse 28. For the, for the kingdom is the Lord's, okay. and he is the governor among the nations. Amen. It Amen. doesn't matter what is going mm. on. As long as you are going to align your will mm. with the will of God, God will rule as a king the, you know, in, in front of your enemies. Amen. Amen. As we read the book, The Great Controversy, I'll share with you this. The book provides the reader mm. with the issues and warnings he okay. needs mm. just now. Amen. Mm. The deceptions and events of the future are unveiled. Mm. And before the reader lays down the book mm. at its last page, the yeah. book brings him personally Amen. to the brink of eternity yeah. to make his own life decision. Amen. Mm. As you can see that when we're going throughout this book, it shows that the weapon of heaven is moving. Yes, yeah. As persecution comes, the weapon of heaven gains momentum. Amen. As the weapon of heaven goes, it picks whoever worships God in spirit and, and in, in truth. truth. God does not pick anyone who believes to any religion mm. or any sect, any cult, any group, mm. but anyone Amen. who believes in God in spirit and in truth. Amen. We are looking forward to yet another chapter where we will be looking at the Great Controversy series. But for today, this is it. May the good Lord keep you. Bless you Amen. until we meet again. Amen. Brother Nube will close in prayer. Shall Our we Father in heaven, we thank you. We want to thank you this day for learning about the world dances. We pray mm. to have the same spirit <laughs> as we move for you. Yes, Lord. Until you come again, bless us <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.